What's going on airsofters? This is Deranged Professor from Deranged Airsoft and today I'm going to show you a cool part that I've made for the um, Elite Force PPQ and this is for the tactical. So this is for the the pistol that has the longer outer barrel and it's also threaded at the end. So I made more of a kind of a compensator for this gun. Kind of follows and mimics the same um, design as the upper on the real wall on this Walther PPQ. You can even see it has kind of the same scoring and the same angle that's built in right up here. Um, of course this is just for airsoft uh, but it looks pretty cool on the gun. Kind of gives it more of a, like a race gun type look. Uh, it has our deranged skull on the bottom there. This is just our prototype that I printed off of my 3D printer here at the house to get sizing and everything. And it actually fits and looks nice on the gun there. Um, this one is the one that's the production one that came from Shapeways just the other day. So we'll put this on the gun and I'll show you um, some cool things about this part in, in comparison to the one that's just 3D printed. So I'll take this one off here so you can get a good look at it too. <clears throat> it's threaded on the inside. You can see the threading in there. So pre-threaded for you, this is 14 millimeter negative. Um, good picture of the skull at the bottom, so when you're looking at it, you know that this is a deranged airsoft part that you've gotten. And the hole there is large enough to not cause any interference with the BB when you're shooting the gun. Um, and it's also threaded to the point where this doesn't actually come into contact with the slide um, when it's firing. So it's not, it's not a chance that it's going to, like smack into it and just break it off and you're left with pieces of it still attached to your barrel. So, but you can see it's got all these print lines and stuff in it. It actually is really good quality and has held up well so far to me test shooting it and using it also at um, Buffalo Battleground a couple weeks ago. So this one is the one from Shapeways, which is nice. The polymer is nice smooth finish on it. Um, the holes and everything look great. There's a top view of the hole there and the groove for it. Front end picture of the skull, which came out great. And is inset. And you can kind of see there's this ridge here. And this ridge is so that when the gun cycles and this outer barrel kind of rocks back a little bit, it doesn't get hung up on the spring guide rod here. So that way it'll cycle nice and smooth for you. Um, it also is pre-threaded on the inside for you in 14 millimeter negative. Um, it has all the same markings as the prototype one. When you get this, uh, it's negative, clock, uh, negative threading, so counterclockwise, it will be tight to go on here. And that's uh, important because this is just held in by friction and it's also the length is sized for the exact number of threads that are on this outer barrel. So that way, as and right now I can already feel it's tightening up. So as you thread it on here for your first few times, you know, it's going to get really, right about here, it's going to get really tight to spin on there. And it's pretty tight right now. And as you spin it, it's going to get tighter as it gets closer to that itch. So for me, what I do and what I've done is kind of threaded it up to the point where it's got just a little bit of space in between the two. Just like that, and that is tight. It's on there. And then you just kind of level it out here. Make sure it's straight, and it should be pretty straight once you get to the spot where it's super tight. And as you can see there, put my finger back behind it, you can see the space. That's there between the slide and the actual compensator. And then when you look inside, it's kind of hard to see right now, but the, it's the barrel ends right before these vents like it should for a real compensated gun. Of course, this is just for looks, but if you ask me, you see a huge performance bonus from it. I'm being sarcastic, but it does look pretty awesome on the gun. Um, and if it's cold enough and you actually see some of the gas vent, you actually do see some of it come out these holes, which is kind of cool. Um, but it just gives the PPQ that little extra flair that if you're trying to stick out from the crowd here and um, like with this gun this will fit into my IMI Defense PPQ holster it just goes right straight in now obviously the light isn't on the gun at that time but it does go in and it allows you to pull the gun out easily 
from the holster also so it doesn't actually get hung up on any just a little bit more of a turn on there there we go now it's on there straight and you can see when you look down the sights too that it's not in the way lined up nicely with the gun try to get into focus there and you can see I love how like the little slashes on here are all the same and even that one up there it all just matches nicely so very cool compensator hope you guys check it out it'll be on the uh, Shapeway store that you can purchase this one um, and I'd love to see it on some of your other PPQs out there and uh, send us a picture especially if you buy it you know send us a picture on either Shapeways the on our Shapeways account or you know direct message us one here on Instagram or on uh, YouTube uh, Facebook we're all over the place so check it out let us know what you think uh, would this be something that you'd be interested in running on your gun comment down below in the comments um, if you like what you're seeing give us a thumbs up and subscribe stay tuned for other stuff that we got coming up uh, here in the future and um, we'll see you guys out there on the uh, airsoft field